We're in Visalia, uh, California. We're on a cockfighting raid with the Visalia law enforcement as well as uh, Tulare County Animal Control, where we're conducting a seizure of upwards of 300 birds uh, as well as paraphernalia. This case began a little over a year ago as an investigation into a large distributor of cockfighting implements. About a month ago, this individual's wife was actually uh, caught coming over the border uh, from Mexico with a little over 200 knives and gaffs. Essentially confirmed our beliefs that this individual was engaged in smuggling these instruments that are used for cockfighting into the U.S. for distribution. And this just goes to show you that you know, these guys engaged in this activity can't hide anywhere. Uh, we're going to get the information, we're going to bring it to law enforcement, and we're going to shut these operations down. Oh, real screwed. Oh no, look at this. Look at the size of this. Hundreds. Hundreds, thousands. Yes. Yeah, I just continued uh, dozens and dozens of nine slashers. I mean, all the equipment you need and cockfighting, I mean, from derbies to uh, regular backyard fights. I couldn't imagine how many thousands of dollars um, in knives and slashers that's actually involved and how much money's involved in this. I mean, it's a really huge operation. They just keep coming and coming. The sheer number to think about how many animals would have suffered by all these. More than 1,107 of these implements just with what's right here. So this is, to my knowledge, the largest uh, seizure of illegal cockfighting implements in the United States to date. Well, our goal is to document all of the evidence uh, that's here and to essentially uh, rescue the hundreds of birds uh, that have suffered at this individual's hands. We've uh, put a major distributor out of business here. We'd like to send a message that uh, this kind of activity is not going to be tolerated in uh, Tulare County. We found hundreds of documents and paperwork that connect individuals all over the country as well as internationally. I think everybody who has ever uh, dealt with this individual should be concerned at this point. Um, obviously we were able to track this guy from Mexico to the U.S. and uh, it's not going to stop there. 